Hey, Shay. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Muskogee Creek National Council free agenda. Today is Saturday, December 17, 2022. The time is 9 a.m. My name is Speaker William Lowe, and I call this meeting to order. At this time, I would like to ask Representative Thomasine Yehola Osborne to say our invocation. Father, I just thank you for this day that you've given us, and I just uh, appreciate the fact that we can all be here. And Father, I just pray, especially for this season, that we remember what the season is about. And Father, that you'll continue to bless our nation and our people. And for those uh, who have lost someone or who has sickness going on, Father, I just ask a special blessing. Father, that you'll uh, bless this meeting and uh, continue to bless our day. I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, Middle Representative Yehola Osborne. Roll call. National Council Secretary Alicia Strobel. Speaker William Lowe. Here. Phelan Cloud. Yalega. Mary Crawford. Yalega. Joyce Steer. Yalega. Patrick Freeman. Here. Sandra Golden. Present. Leonard Gouge. Here. Nelson Harjo. Here. Joseph Hicks. Here. Randall Hicks. Present. Robert Huff. Present. Anna Marshall. Present. Charles McHenry. Here. Thomas and Yehovah Osborne. Present. Harold Proctor. Here. Mark Randolph. Present. Speaker, you have 16 present, zero absent. 16 present, zero absent. That constitutes a quorum. Any business conducted this morning will be valid. On to agenda review. Health, Education, and Welfare. Chairperson, Representative Joyce Deer. Madam Speaker, I have no new additions. Madam Representative Deer. Land, Natural Resources, and Cultural Preservation. Chairman, Representative Daryl Proctor. Thank you, Speaker. We have no additions. Mado, Representative Proctor. Business, Finance, and Justice. Chairperson, Representative Thomasine Yehola Osborne. Speaker, we have no additions. Mado, Representative Yehola Osborne. That concludes agenda review. On to other business. Representatives, do we have any other business before we interview our nominees? Any other business at all? Outstanding. We are on to nominee interviews. Our first nominee is Judge Shannon Prescott, District Trial Court Judge for the Family Division. Ms. Prescott, if you would please ensure the microphone is on and, and introduce yourself, please. Good morning, Shannon Prescott. I currently serve as the District Judge for the Family Law Division. Any other? <laughs> All right. Thank you, ma'am. Do we have any questions for Judge Prescott? Yes, second speaker. Uh, at this point in time, what is the caseload like? I'm sorry, the what? What, what is the caseload at this point in time, basically? Well, for family law, it's a little different than criminal law. Okay. Um, however, I've been volunteering time to help with the criminal dockets, too. So our biggest increase at this time is juvenile delinquents. Um, based yeah. on the McGirt changes, we take on a lot of our delinquent uh, matters. And that's really been a big issue for us because service-wise, it's not something the nation's had to deal with. So working with juveniles is much different than working with adults. So caseload-wise, we're looking at thousands of criminal law cases that have come into the court since McGirt. Um, I can't say that we've had a huge increase in divorce or family law. Those stay pretty stable. Um, but our biggest increase would be the delinquent. So number-wise, at this point, I would say we've had about 150% increase in delinquent work and pretty standard for our other case matters. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Speaker. Representative Joseph Hicks. <clears throat> Ms. Prescott, um, the staff that work with you, how would they describe you as a leader uh, or just, you know, kind of your personality and, you know, how you work with them? Okay. I'm very um, serious when it comes to our work because I think our citizens and our children are our greatest asset and we need to protect them. Um, I would say that I am fair. I definitely don't have the oversight every day with our staff. That's um, Chief Judge Roger Wiley's position. Um, I'm pretty lighthearted. I like to have a good time with them when we're kind of settling into the day. Um, I usually work with about two or three different ones. I don't work with all of the staff. And right now we've included, I would say, probably 10 to 15 new people that I don't deal with on a daily basis. So I would say the, the one way to describe me is I'm serious. I have very strong work ethic and I expect work to get done. I mean, but I am nice to people. So all right. thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Any other comments, questions? Council representative, Representative Golden. Uh, yes, uh, Ms. Prescott. Um, 
you were you are still a, an attorney downtown you have your own office yes. and uh, you, you still do business with Creek citizens uh, not really I don't do anything here at the tribal court um, most of my work is with children I also serve as a district judge for the Delaware Nation one time a month um, my private practice as this position is part-time um, I have to make up the other 50% somewhere. So most of my work is with children I'm in divorce cases. I'm a guardian ad litem. And then I also represent parents in deprived actions. I have a contract with Mulgee County and Creek County representing parents and children in those cases. So sometimes, occasionally I'll get a Creek person, but I don't generally represent them in the event they come to our court. Yeah, okay. That was pretty much my question in regard to uh, any conflict of interest and how do you manage to, to not have that. Yes, in my other prior positions working with the nation, um, I represented a lot of citizens, several council reps I have represented. And what I do is I recuse myself from any cases that might have a conflict. I make sure it's clear that I won't have any communications with them if I represented them in the past. But over the last four years of being in this position, I really, I've only stepped aside maybe two or three times. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Speaker. You're welcome, Representative Golden. Any other comments, questions? Council representatives. Representative Randolph. Mr. Prescott, can you tell us how important sovereignty is to you? It's paramount to the nation. Um, the fact that we had a case that you know, recognized that was nothing to us. We have always maintained our sovereignty, whether it be through our court system, through um, our people, through our housing departments, um, representing the nation in matters against the state when that arises, that's always been um, an important aspect. And so, yes, McGirt recognized that in case law, but that's something that is deep within us as people. And as I said, our greatest asset are our people. Only second to that is our lands. And most of the time, our people own that land. And so, again, you know, sovereignty, yes, was recognized, but it's always been paramount and one of the most important aspects. We couldn't do any of the things that we're doing today without recognizing that and respecting that. Yes, Representative Randolph Mado, Representative Yehola Osborne. Thank you, Speaker. Um, I just want to make a comment. Um, we are going to be addressing another piece of legislation later, TR 22-177. And it's an MOU with Seminole Nation. Mm -hmm. um, we were discussing that in our meeting last week, I believe. And Ms. Prescott made the, the comment, and I really appreciate it because I know with us living in the South, we recognize it. A lot of our citizens are missing their court cases because of transportation. With the MOU with Seminole Nation or even the uh, DHS building that we purchased in Holdenville, there's a possibility that we can go to the people and Ms. Prescott said that herself, because um, we recognize, again, the people who live in the South, that a lot of our people don't have transportation, they don't have the means for fuel, or their transportation is not reliable. So with the court cases that are backed up right now, I think that definitely would be an asset, and I appreciate you bringing that up. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Speaker. And that yes, really is important to start using those existing resources. The nation, sovereignty is expensive. It just is. It's going to cost a lot of money for us to assert that sovereignty and utilizing existing resources, as we spoke about, is one of the best ways to do that. Outstanding. Any other comments, questions? Last call. Judge Prescott, thank you so much. Thank we you. will uh, have your legislation at the 10 o'clock meeting. Mado. Thank you. On to the next nominee interview. We have Danette Mauser. Is Danette Mauser here or online? Don't see her online, so last call, outstanding. Okay, on to announcements, or I should say, any other business, council representatives, do we have any other business this morning? Hearing no other business announcements, do we have any announcements? Our regular session will start at 10 a.m., so grab some coffee and stand by, so once we're adjourned here, we'll just hang out and visit and start at 10. Any other announcements? Hearing none, adjournment. Is there a motion to adjourn? Second speaker, Robert Huff, makes a motion to adjourn, seconded by Representative Joseph Hicks. Is there any discussion? Hearing no discussion, voice vote. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any aye. Opposed? Any opposed, same sign. Hearing none opposed, we are adjourned at 9, 10 a.m.